What's up guys? Grim here. Looks like I'm playing a little bit of Reaver action in this Warf run. I didn't actually record myself during this particular match and it makes a good opportunity for me to talk about what all's going on since uh, I haven't made a video in a week or more. Uh, yeah, more. Alright, so basically I went on vacation about a week and a half ago and just arrived on the real late or no it was real early on the 7th so real early on monday about 4 a.m i arrived back and uh definitely started getting back to work and trying to make some stuff for you guys so that you could enjoy a little bit of grim videos uh since it was such a long time without one and i had meant to make some videos before i left out that way I could schedule them and you guys wouldn't have any gaps in the entertainment, so to say. But it didn't pan out that way. I, I ended up getting busy with a lot of other stuff and I couldn't really uh, get the videos done and get them scheduled and all that good stuff. Uh, there was a big project that I'm working on. Uh, it should be finished now. I, I have submitted it and hopefully you guys will be seeing it really soon. And uh, I don't want to let the cat out of the bag, so to say, but uh, you guys are going to be knowing about this project really soon. And uh, it's, a, it's a really cool project. I wish I could talk about it, but in all actuality, I can talk about it. I would just rather surprise you guys whenever you see it. So, whenever it happens, it happens. And... Um, but basically, I went on vacation. I posted on my Twitter and my Facebook. So if you guys are not uh, like friended to me or uh, like my page on uh, Facebook and also uh, follow my Twitter, that way that you guys can see all the posts that I make because a lot of times I just don't have time to put something in a video if I want to share with you guys something such as a lot of times I'll get like a huge... Uh, like uh, a really good item in the game and it's like not video worthy but it's really cool to post a screenshot on Twitter and Facebook for you guys to see and you know the people that aren't uh, liking my page on Facebook or following me on Twitter don't get to see all that stuff and that sucks because I want you guys to see it so make sure that you are uh, following my Twitter and also uh, uh, liked on my Facebook and all the links are in the description below this video so you can go down there and see all my social media and uh, keep up with me on there. I'm not like super active on there but I do like to post stuff here and there and uh, keep you guys a little bit entertained there as well. And uh, But basically let's go over the vacation. So the vacation uh, started uh, late on a Sunday. We uh, flew down to Houston, Texas where uh, what, the buddy of mine that went with me, uh, he he was originally from Texas, so he was wanting to basically spend the night in Houston to visit a lot of friends, see family, all that good stuff. So we went down there and we uh, hung out with them and had dinner. And oh man, the the place we ate at was a really fancy restaurant, but man, we just had a waiter that was just struggling so bad. Uh, it was like an hour before we got drinks. It was super expensive. You know, the food was all right, but it, it wasn't really, you know, worth it, so to say. But, you know, our friends was really trying to show us a good time and they brought us to a really nice place that really should have worked out really well for us. But it, it was, it didn't turn out as good as we hoped. But, um... After that, we spent the night in Houston, and then we went to Galveston and caught a cruise ship. And this is the first time that I've ever been on a cruise, so it was really cool for me. And um, we went to, first we went to Cozumel, and we went to, uh, uh, let's see, we, we went mini speedboat riding, where we uh, went in these uh, two-passenger speedboats, and... Uh, I got to drive one and, you know, somebody rode with me and stuff like that. And uh, that was really fun. Uh, the speedboat kind of beats you up whenever it hits all the waves, but it was still really fun. Um, and then after that, we did snorkeling, which the snorkeling was really cool, too. 
the thing is, is I think our equipment was a little bit worn out and like the salt water was getting in the breathing apparatus thing, the snorkel, and it was really hard actually staying underwater to look at the fish and stuff that they were wanting you to look at because the snorkel was constantly taking on water and of course it's like the the salt water so it's like you know i'm used to fresh water where i come from it's uh we got freshwater rivers and uh you know lakes and all that stuff that's generally what we have fun with where i come from is the lakes and stuff and that's all fresh water so salt water was pretty rough on me and uh but we ended up doing the snorkeling it was a lot of fun and then uh, we got back on the boat and we went to Belize, which uh, Belize was a very, <laughs> a comedian on the boat uh, said, uh, one of the comedians we've seen, he, he, he called it the tropical Detroit because it was a pretty run down place. But uh, the people really made a very good effort in showing us the beauty of the culture and stuff and really let us know how uh how you know their culture really embraced a lot of different things that you know it it's hard to describe they got uh, they were really good about teaching us uh like everything that goes on with their country their minimum wages their uh what they do for fun the type of snakes they have spiders i mean all kinds of stuff we got to learn so much about belize and it was probably the funnest trip that we had because of everything we learned and then while we were there we got to travel to the mayan ruins and see mayan ruins that were already excavated and then there was a lot that they were still working on so that was just amazing to see and we got to hear so many uh stories about the mayan culture and how they did so much sacrificing and stuff like that. It was crazy. They would play games where it was almost like a basketball or something like that to where it was uh, two people against two people. And the losers got beheaded. And the winners got beheaded too. But they got to go to the gods. Whereas the uh, losers were probably going to have their skull used as the ball in the future and it, it's just crazy the stuff that we got to see and you know, uh the we got to see spider monkeys and all that so it was a really good trip and then uh and then the third place we went to was honduras which was mahogany bay and that is the the picture that you think of whenever you think of a tropical vacation it was the beautiful beach the fruity drinks the umbrellas over the you know uh the beach chairs and all that stuff it was the classical uh tropical vacation so to say and we had a really good time there that was where we got to relax and go into the water and uh uh have some drinks and really relax at the end of this whole cruise and um so it was a really good time i mean especially to end it off with um, mahogany bay it was so beautiful there so basically i took a lot of video of all this and i'm hoping to make a video of it to where you guys can see a lot that i got to see and uh, hopefully it'll give a good impression of the fun that we had and all the things that we got to uh, see and learn about. Oh boy, it looks like I'm about to die there. No, I'm grim. I'm not going to die. All right, so uh, basically uh, I'm, uh, of course, this is, uh, this video is going to be coming out today that I'm recording it, which is going to be reset day, which is Tuesday. We, we got to get every, all my weeklies done as fast as possible on this day. So really, I'm not going to really be, uh, doing much else than getting into the game and really grinding, uh, the weeklies, <laughs> somebody down in Warfront chat said, Grimok, but uh, yeah, I'm really going to try to play catch up since I lost out on a week or so of uh, gameplay and hopefully get some weeklies done because I'm still wanting to gear out my guys. 
<laughs> Somebody in Warfront chat just said, LOL, it's grim. Well, hopefully I top kills in this Warfront and they get to be impressed and really, really get to enjoy playing with somebody they get to watch on YouTube. But, uh, yeah, uh, where was I going with all that? Uh, I've kind of lost my train of thought whenever I see stuff like that. Oh, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm playing catch up on everything and really trying to get gear on my characters. And uh, there's a lot of news going on with me. I mean, for one, I quit my job. Yeah, so the there's going to be a lot more time to make videos now, to say the least. And let's just say the donations are heavily appreciated. <laughs> so... Yeah, we're going to be making a lot more videos, uh, a lot more guides are coming out, and uh, man, I wish I could spoil what's coming up, but I can't, uh, I'm not going to, I'm going to let you guys see it whenever it happens, and uh, see exactly what's going on with me whenever uh, the big news comes out, so, and um, so we're going to have a lot more videos, a lot more guides are coming out. Uh, 3.4 is not too far away. I, I don't know the exact date, but they are saying that T4 gear is coming out the, at that time. So we can expect some pretty big changes probably on the PvP front, such as uh, frenetic gear may not be the best anymore, you know, or else, you know, down bolstered T2 or uh, relic T1 items will not be best in slot for pvpers anymore there will probably be some changes coming up to that i'm getting rumors that there are other big changes coming and i cannot say what they are so uh a lot of things are going to be changing in pvp coming up guys and uh those that are the big naysayers that uh try never does anything and all that stuff you're about to see a lot of things happening in the game and um lots of uh lots of good stuff i man i can't say anything i, I want to say things but i can't so um but uh you're going to see uh changes to a lot of things that's going to happen in pvp most likely uh especially on the gear front whenever 3.4 comes out uh, I cannot imagine them keeping uh, frenetic gear, uh, frenetic gear, and down bolster T2 items as the top of the line. They'll probably unlock uh, full scale T2 items in uh, 3.4. I'm not certain of it, but it just uh, it just makes sense. Uh, they they just can't keep us so low on the ladder for so long uh, with the PVP stuff. Oh, are we losing this one? Oh, we lost this war front. All right, guys. Uh, looks like I went 11 and 0. A couple of other people beat me out on kills, but they died more. So I probably did the best performance. Uh, so, <laughs> all right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and a little bit of updates. And hopefully, I'll be able to tell you more soon enough. But you'll see it coming up. All right, guys. As usual, my name is Grim, and I'll see you next time.